Live, the DNC promotes illegal immigration. An Angel family mourns the tragic anniversary of a son killed nine years ago by an illegal alien. 23-year-old Matthew Denise was killed when an illegal alien crashed into him in Massachusetts. That person was driving without a license. The story of Matthew and his family is one of many so-called Angel families. Take a look at this. Unbeknownst to me, a classmate asked him for a ride home. Uh, we found out at the trial that his intent was to murder Josh for his truck. He uh, brutally beat him, um, crushed his face and voice box. He beat him in the head with a closet rod four times until it broke. He uh, strangled him over and over again, tortured him. He tied him up like an animal, dropped him in a field and set him on fire. An illegal immigrant, intoxicated, hit him from behind, going probably 120 miles an hour. He was killed on his way home from work on May 12, 2014, by a repeat illegal alien criminal who was driving drunk the wrong way um, over 35 miles and slammed head on into my son. Him and his partner had just gotten done running a call. They were on their way back to the station, and a drunk driver that was here illegally pulled in front of the ambulance um, with no regard to anybody else. And um, my husband's ambulance flipped over and he and his partner both lost their lives in that accident. While those families grieve, the Biden campaign is pledging to end President Trump's contracts between police and federal immigration officers. This would essentially extend a version of California's sanctuary law nationwide. Joining me now is Congressman Doug Collins of Georgia. Congressman, great to see you tonight. Good to see you as well. Let me ask you this. You first hear some of those stories. I've driven on the roads and lived in a lot of different countries. The rules and regulations are not the same as they are here. Why is it that as a law-abiding citizen, I have to go take a driver's license test to get my license, yet we can have people who are legally in the country on the road without any documentation or a license literally running people off the road and killing them? Who says that that's okay? Because I don't think it's President Trump. Yeah, it definitely isn't President Trump. And then what we're seeing, look, the, the convention this week showed Joe Biden to have went to the left and fell off the edge. I mean, this is the problem we're seeing right now, where it is an actual discussion that he would end federal enforcement of immigration. This just goes to show, and then they'll try to say no, because most Americans don't agree with it, that this is just an open door policy, an open border policy, in which they're wanting to people to come in with no regard to our, our sovereignty, no regard to our laws. And for cities and states, and I've been fighting about with this for a long time in the United States Congress, that if they want to have the ignoring of laws, why are they just picking on immigration? They're not ignoring other laws. What they're wanting to do is make political points because they feel it is, is something that makes them look better politically. But in the end, hear those voices of those moms and those dads and those family members when their family member was taken by, from them by someone who should have never been in this country at all. And for someone in these cities to say that that's okay to protect illegal immigrants, they need to re-examine the Constitution that they swore to and the oath that they have as Americans to make sure our country is safe. And Congressman, nobody is standing here saying that we shouldn't have legal immigration. Exactly. We're just saying that it has to be done with certain rules and regulations and that the rules apply to everybody. Of course, there are a lot of reasons that people would want to live in this country. We certainly can't have everybody here, but there are, we have a process in place where people can immigrate legally. Why is it so difficult for the Democrats to understand that those rules need to be followed? Because, again, they're pandering to the left uh, that b it does not believe that we should have borders, that we should not have uh, control over immigration. Look, you have every nation in the world understands if you don't have borders, you don't have a country. And we need to have a, a secure border. But we also have one of the most uh, uh, generous immigration policies in the world, accepting new people to become citizens more than anyone else in the world every year. We've got to make sure that we have a good legal immigration program, but we cannot just turn our blind eye to laws. The problem is, is this is what we're seeing in Portland and Seattle in New York and Chicago right now, and even in Atlanta, that people are trying to, to believe that they can disregard law and order and that everybody is, is better for that. In fact, everybody is being torn down for that and they're scared. Democrats at this point are, are promoting this anarchy and fear because they're wanting to beat Donald Trump and they're not willing to follow the rule of law. That's why, again, it's a political issue, but when you look in these faces of people and you look into normal Americans, they understand the rule of law and they understand we need strong immigration laws but a fair immigration system so we can have the workers we need. Congress and the prospect of a sanctuary country is very scary to a lot of yes. people. Um, and you're fighting in Georgia to make sure that the rules are upheld and to make sure that Ill uh, illegal immigration is kept in check. 
We are. In fact, we have a company that we've asked for an investigation in called uh, SK. They're a battery company that is making a large plant in, in North Georgia, in my area. But yet, it seems that they have uh, been skirting our immigration laws to bring in uh, foreign workers to take American jobs. And in the middle of a COVID virus, in the middle of this time, if that's what they're actually doing, then they're not. A, that's not a good thing, and they're not being a good corporate citizen. We allow corporate citizens to come in and follow our laws, but when they actually go at it to taking jobs and paychecks out of Americans' uh, back pocket, then we've got a problem, especially when they want to skirt our laws on immigration. And also, there's uh, the sort of the prospect also of, of who is going to take care of these people once they're in this country, if they don't have jobs. They definitely drain the system. They've been a big burden on the health care system as well. Yet the Democrats, um, especially the far-leaning left ones, want to expand that even further. They want you and me to pay for it. Well, they do, and they want to use Joe Biden to get at it. They think they can put Joe Biden up as the face of people uh, will vote for Joe Biden as this some sort of a centrist, moderate uh, person. And the actuality is he's had to give in to the left. He's, he's basically uh, uh, farmed out his presidency to the far left and Bernie Sanders and the others who want to have you know free medical care and free everything for people here who are here illegally. And, and those are the things that are going to drain us if we don't watch it. Congressman, great to see you tonight. Really, really appreciate your time. We'll talk to you again soon.